lawyers to surrender are false. All lawyers to surrender are false. Hey everybody and welcome back to 3COG. Today I wanted to do a short video which is a follow up on the flashlight. Um, this is my everyday carry flashlight. It is a PowerTac E20. I did an initial video giving you my initial thoughts showing um, all the run times based on brightness settings and all that kind of stuff and I just wanted to give uh, some follow-up to that now that I've been carrying it every day for six or seven months so I carry it every day I carry it in my back left pocket um, it is uh, showing some signs of wear you see the finish is wearing off on the front edge which is not surprising um, and aside from that that's it as far as wear um, I do carry it every day it's with me obviously right now I wear it in uniform in my back left pocket I carry it every day um, been very very happy with battery life I recharge it once a month something like that and it is a rechargeable battery it comes with a battery pack and all that um, <clears throat> so overall I've been really really happy with it the biggest negative that I would say is and it's not a negative it's something to get used to but the side activation button so the buttons on the side right there as opposed to tail cap activation because it has a magnetic tail cap which is actually really nice and I've used it several times a lot of times just by clicking it to something um, it will activate when you don't want it to, so you have to be careful about how you have the pocket clip set. So I make sure that the pocket clip is set like basically a 90 degree angle to the activation switch. That way the activation switch rides on my uh, left side so that it doesn't accidentally get activated. Uh, when it does get activated, the flashlight does get very warm very quickly. I have it set to go to the brightest power which is almost 1200 lumens, I think 1180. Um, and it does get warm very very quick and I feel it on my leg. Um, that's really just something you have to get used to in terms of that side activation button. Aside from that, it's done everything I needed it to. It's held up very very well. Um, I need to re-lubricate the threads with uh, silicone grease or Vaseline again because you're supposed to do that. I uh, forget what the manual says, but that is uh, maintenance that you're supposed to be performing. But overall, it's continued to work very, very well. If you're wondering what flashlight I'm talking about, I'll post it in the description below so you can see my original video where I actually submerge it and show all the different modes and everything like that. But because it is something that originally I said I was very happy with and I, I liked it. I wanted to do a follow-up so that you all knew what I was thinking now that I've been carrying it for, I don't know, seven, eight, nine months, something like that. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time on 3COG.